And yet, no matter where you are, home is never far away. Yes, today this exciting world filled with romance, adventure, and nature's masterpieces is waiting for you to enjoy. Hi, this is Barry Helms, archivist at Renata House Museum of American Art. Will Reynolds is often overshadowed by his older, more successful brother, R.J., but Mr. Will, as he was called, made his own impact on Winston-Salem. He's most notably associated with Tanglewood, which he purchased in 1921 as a farm to raise and race standard-bred horses. Will's pacers and trotters, many of which he trained himself, won the sport's most prestigious races, including the 1931 Hamiltonian, a race he helped establish. He won it with a filly named after his niece, Mary Reynolds. At Reynolds Tobacco, he was vice president, but preferring his horses to the office, he lacked R.J.'s drive and ambition. After R.J.'s death in 1918, Will took over as president, but soon relinquished the role to Bowman Gray in 1924. Will remained involved with the tobacco company, serving as the first chairman of the board of directors, then as chair of the executive committee, until he stepped down in 1941. Interestingly, Will left R.J. Reynolds Tobacco Company on the eve of the predominantly black workforce successfully unionizing the most powerful corporation in the city. In 1943, leaf workers, mostly black women, initiated a sit-down strike that sparked seven years of struggle for workplace equality. Thousands of workers united to form the Local 22 Union. Throughout the 1940s, they challenged economic exploitation, political disfranchisement, and racial segregation in Winston-Salem. As workers prepared to vote for the union, for many, the first election they had ever participated in, Foreman passed out flyers with Will Reynolds' statement that a union would, quote, tear down this house of protection which has taken us generations to build. Frustrated workers left their own messages on these flyers, including some directed at Will. Quote, we've been suffering under Reynolds Tobacco Company for these 40, 50, 60 years. We want better working conditions and more money, and we had to organize to get it. You just stay down there in Florida and tend your horses. We'll stay here and tend to the business of Reynolds Tobacco Company. Local 22 laid a foundation for activism that expanded beyond company walls. They promoted education, affordable housing, and successively backed a black candidate for alderman. Kenneth R. Williams became the first black candidate to beat a white rival in a southern city since the end of Reconstruction. Will Reynolds had little to no involvement with his tobacco company following the formation of Local 22, focusing instead on his horses and philanthropy projects. He was instrumental in founding the Z. Smith Reynolds Foundation, relocating Wake Forest University to Winston-Salem, and provided funds for schools and universities including Duke, NC State, and Wake. In the 1920s, he donated land to build a black orphanage, and in 1938, Will and his wife, Kate Reynolds, funded the building of a black hospital, which greatly expanded health care to the black community. But when he died in 1951, Will Reynolds left, ta left Tanglewood to the county to be used as a public park for only, quote, the white race. While it is rarely mentioned today, Tanglewood remained segregated until years after the Civil Rights Act took effect in 1964. It would take a federal court case to finally force desegregation of the park in 1971.